This one right here is actually going to be fairly straightforward. Hopefully, you've seen this before in pre-calculus. If not, we can go over pretty fast. This is an ellipse, or as they say in English, that's an oval. And the way to graph it is, you look at the x, and then you take the square root of this number, which would be plus or minus 3. So on the x-axis, you go over 2, plus, and minus 3. Now look at the y part. For the number underneath, take the square root, which will be plus or minus 4. So on the y-axis, go to plus and minus 4. And then just draw you a pretty ellipse. There we go. So I did this part. Graph it. Now convert to polar coordinates. So in the last podcast, number 59, I went over how you get that x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. And if you didn't watch it, it's basically just from the very beginning of the semester. Use the sine is y over r and then solve for y. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and then solve for x. Now I just need to take these two and plug them in there. So it says x squared, replace that with r cosine of theta, and then it gets squared. And then replace the y with r sine theta. And then it's over 16. Then I should do a little bit of algebra to simplify. So this would be r squared cosine squared over 9 plus r squared sine squared over 16 equals 1. Now because these denominators are different, I can't really simplify I guess I could factor out an r squared since that's common. But it's not really going to simplify anymore. It almost looks like it says sine squared plus cos cosine squared, which would equal 1, except this one's over 9 and this one's over 16. So those can't be combined, so we call it finished. Once you've gotten rid of all the x's and y's, then it's in polar form. Try to reduce it as much as you can, otherwise it's done.